Hello, everyone, and welcome to a Twin Stitches Designs podcast. My name is Julie, and I am the knitwear designer behind Twin Stitches Designs. Today, we are Sunday, August 1st, and it is just about 11 a.m. Um, here in East Coast, Canada. I'm coming to you from my home in New Brunswick. I hope that you are having an incredible day wherever you are, um, and I just want to thank you for taking some time out of your day and spending it with me. I am so excited to always podcast with you all, and I just have um, kind of some updates, some acquisitions, new cast-ons, uh, and a finished object, and I'm just super excited to sit down with you all. So grab your beverage of choice and your knitting, and let's get right to it. You can find me on Instagram and Ravelry, both as Julianne Knitter. I will link about, I will link everything I talk about down below this video. If you ever have any questions um, or comments, let them down below, and I always try to answer them as soon as I possibly can. So today, like I mentioned, we are August 1st. In about a half hour, um, I am going to be doing my first ever Zoom call with my Patreon members. I am so, so excited. So this is just really kind of like we have a Zoom chat and we're all bringing our knitting. It's kind of like a knit with me um, thing. It's not a class or anything like that. We just all get to know each other, chat about our knitting projects, and I'm really excited slash nervous um, to see how it all goes. Um, I dropped off the girls to my parents this morning because I really wanted the house to be quiet. You never know with toddlers how they're going to be, and I definitely wanted this first Zoom to go well. So first up is my um, finished object. Uh, from the last podcast, I finished my pair of socks that I was knitting out of Nicole C. Mendez, out of her Daphne colorway on her soft sock. Um, this is a 80% wool and 20% nylon, 80% uh, virgin wool. Really love this colorway, and I just use uh, some gray uh, from my stash as the contrast heel. I had one completely done on the last podcast and I just cast on the second one, but they are now both completely done. I really love the colors. Uh, this was sent from her Bridgerton Sock Club and I really love it. So they are both completely done. This was my goal for this podcast to have this pair of socks done. And I'm very happy to say that they are. Um, this will definitely be just going in my box of socks. Um, I have so much of Nicole's yarn that I'm debating having, honestly, a box of socks just of, like, her self-striping yarn. It is amazing. Really love how they um, worked up. So I knit these top down on US uh, on a um, 2.5 millimeter needle with a, um, this is a garter short row heel so it is just a normal short row then instead of always knitting and purling you knit every round so it creates kind of that garter squish heel I really enjoy it I also find that it's fun that you don't have to purl um, I also think that it gives it kind of a squishy texture and it holds up nicely um, I really really enjoy it so there we go this pair of socks is completely done um, so that was my only finished object. Uh, the last podcast, I was working on a brand new sock design for the next Oh Basic sock collection. And this is in a bag by Stephanie of the Creative Knitter. Absolutely love Stephanie's bags. It's like little socks. This is her small, um, small size. And the last time that I chatted with you all, this was just cast on. Like, I had cast on, like, the first two rounds. And I'm very happy to say that I finished one sock and have the second one cast on. So this is out of Murray and Company on her Shenanigans colorway with a highlighter mini on her classic sock, which is a 75-25. So here is the first sock. Um, this is going to be for the next Oh Basic sock collection. So you have a fun um, cuff and then some color work. I've knit this double-stranded 
but the instructions for the O Basic collection comes both single and double stranded. So depending on how you would love to knit your socks, um, I always include instructions for both. This sock collection is going to be coming out August 19th. It is not available right now. All my O Basic sock collections have three patterns that um, usually are released together for $9 Canadian. I always usually release a YouTube video um, for my collection. So now we have the Oso oh So Basic Part 1, we have O oh Basic Men's, and this is going to be the O oh Basic Part 2. So this is the second sock in the collection. And what's going to be very different in this collection is I am um, kind of playing around a short row heel for the instructions. So normally in my patterns, it's either an afterthought heel or a heel flap and gusset. So I wanted to kind of have my own recipe for a short row heel. So playing around with that. I knit these top down on a US 5 held double stranded and that's about it for that one. So I finished this off last night and this morning I cast on the second sock. I'm knitting these on my Knit Picks Prism interchangeable needles and uh, this morning when we dropped off the girls I was knitting in the car um, and then all of this is already done. My goal is to actually have this this sock done today. Uh, I'm trying to get everything off of my needles for this week. Trying. Um, but yes, so this one, really love how it's knitting up. Love the speckles and the highlighter. Just really, really pretty. Love how that's knitting. I always forget to mention, but I, I include my link below. Um, my nails, I do them with Artify Nails, which is like nail strips. They are amazing, amazing. I don't have time to do my nails. I put them on, they're like instantly dry because they're nail strips of nail polish. They come off super easy once you want them off. But I've had these for a few days, like days, and they still look amazing. They have so many different ones. Um, I'll put my affiliate link below and also 15% off coupon code if you ever wanna try them. They're a Canadian company. I know like a lot of the American companies, I can't get them here but um, I love being able to support kind of those Canadian companies. So yes, so that is it for that pair of socks. Now the last whip that I had for this episode or for last episode was my husband's sweater. Thank you so much to everybody for your sweet comments on the sweater. Take a sip of water and then we're gonna dive right into that sweater. So for that sweater, I was able to get my husband to try it on and I told him, I said, look, please be honest. Try it on. Tell me what you like. Tell me where it fits. Tell me what you don't like. Like I said, you're not hurting my feelings. I want you to love this sweater because if I finish it, you, you need to like it and you need to wear it. <laughs> I'm not knitting this sweater for you not to wear it. So he tried it on and I redid the sleeve. I did the decreases to where he would like it, and now it fits. The body is a little baggy, which is fine, and he said it's perfectly fine, it feels comfortable. He said like he would wear like a t-shirt underneath and kind of like that comfy, cozy sweater with um, a nice pair of jeans. I thought, okay, you are okay with the fit, then I am too, because, well, I think I was gonna pull out my hair if I had to do this all over again, which, I don't know if I would have. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, this is in a basket of Jenna Rose that was gifted to me by one of my incredible friends. Um, absolutely love her, her bag. And the sweater is still in here. So I am test knitting the Oxenon? Oxenon? I'll link it. I'll link them exactly below by Vincent of Design by Dells. I am knitting this out of Nitpick Stroll Tweed Held Double. Um, and then the first color is North Sea Heather. Then we have uh, the white is Dalmatian. And then we have Perugian Heather. So this sweater I've knit uh, the large size. I finished the entire body. Oh, it's so if you have not knit with Knit Picks Tweet, pause this video. If you would, oh, fluff. I would appreciate if you wanted to use my affiliate link below. Grab yourself some Knit Picks Tweet. 
I'm telling you right now, you will not regret it. You can use it for hats, you can use it for mittens, you can use it for sweaters, you can use it for socks. It is one of my all-time favorite yarns. My husband was trying the sweater now on, he's like, ooh, ooh, this is soft. I'm like, yes, it is. And I have a sweater that is, I don't know how many years old, and it still holds up beautifully out of stroll tweed. Um, this is the tag. So stroll tweed is 65% superwash merino wool, 25% nylon, and 10% Donegal tweed. Um, if you are wanting to make a pair of socks, you will need two 50 gram balls of that. So here is the sweater. Now it will look very similar to the last time, um, but I just kind of did some of my own decreases. And now I'm back to where I was and I'm ready to continue the sleeve. I'm wanting to finish the socks because I wanna get test knitters out for that one. So this one is kind of on a pause until I can finish um, this pair of socks. So. I love, I love the knit. I love how it's looking. I love how it knit up. I absolutely love the design. Um, it's nothing against the designer. Absolutely not. But I just, I, I didn't like the way that the sleeves were. So I am very happy that I figured out a way to kind of do the sleeve decreases myself um, to really modify it to my husband's measurements where he feels like it's really comfortable on him. So right now I've knit um, a few inches and I think he's, it, it brings him to here. So I'm wanting to knit about here for him. So I think I still have like between like five or seven inches. And yeah, so that is going to be um, on my needles again very, very soon. But I just uh, want to finish the socks because I want to get it to my tech editor. I want to get the test knit call. Um, I want to get a few things off my needles before I continue that sweater. And then finally, once that sweater is done, I can cast on something new. <laughs> I swear, you guys, on the next podcast, you are going to see, I'm telling you, in one week, this is going to be done, the sweater is going to be done, and another pair of socks is going to be done. Cross your fingers for me that I can do it all. <laughs> so that is it for what's on my needles currently is only really this sock, um, that one, and one secret project. So except for that, um, I'm wanting to cast on the next pair of socks for the O Basic sock collection, which is going to be the third one. Um, and this one is out of Natalie of Blush Yarns on her Sunny Butter colorway, which is on her 7525. Um, and this is her yarn. Natalie is an amazing Canadian dyer. Absolutely love her yarn. So I'm going to be um, using that with this as a contrast mini. I have not cast it on yet because I'm waiting to finish um, that pair of socks and then this one is going to be cast on next but I just wanted to share with you guys um, I love putting them in my project bags and just kind of having them. This is another project bag by Stephanie of the Creative Knitter. And it's gonna be ready for me whenever I finish that other pair of socks. Next up, we have some acquisitions. I received a few packages in the mail. Uh, first up was a yarn that I had ordered from Pretty Twisted Yarns, who is Teresa. And I ordered her Hey, You're Crazy Witch on her Lush Base, which is a 7525. I had seen this in her shop and I just loved it. It's a beautiful Halloween color and I just needed more Halloween yarns in my stash. I definitely, I don't have enough of those fall colors and themes. So I'm really excited to see um, how it knits up. It is a 7525 and it is a self-striping yarn. Really really love that. So really excited to see. Um, the next up was something that arrived in the mail and I have no idea who it's from. I received a skein of Sweet Skein of Mine who is Amanda and a beautiful yarn dyer. I received a sock yarn and there was just a note that said you have a very sweet friend who wanted to send you something anonymously. I was having a hard day with the girls and um, this arrived in the mail 
and it completely made my day. Uh, this is her hike colorway on her 801010 merino cashmere nylon. It is a beautiful blush neutral pink with pops of gold and hot pinks. Absolutely gorgeous. I don't know who you are out there, but thank you so much. I was not expecting that and it was, yeah, absolutely overwhelmingly. Um, it was, I have no words. So thank you so much to whoever you are. Um, just know that it was greatly appreciated and I can't wait to knit something with this. Um, who knows, it's gonna be a pair of socks, but it's just gonna be very, very special to me. So thank you so much to whoever you are. Um, I will link Amanda's shop down below. The next package I received um, was another over <laughs> overwhelming one in the most amazing way. So Laura of Socturnal, I will link her shop down below um, on her Instagram. She had contacted me and said, I would absolutely love to dye you a self-striping yarn out of some colors that you pick. And I was completely blown away and I received her box, not a package, a box of yarn. And this lady is insanely talented and you need to go check out her shop. So um, this is her logo, Softurnal. And she sent two sets of her candy corn. So her candy corn is a 50 gram and these are 10 gram minis. So 80 grams in total, which is more than enough for a pair of socks. Perfect fall, Halloween color. She sent two of these with a beautiful stitch marker. This is the second one. I'm gonna be doing a fall um, a knit along for my Patreon members. So I might put this in as a prize, one of these, and then knit the, the other one up um, myself. She was so generous and sent two of them. Um, not only did she send that, she sent, so the color palette that I gave her was a very like pinks and neutrals and fall. Um, and she captured it perfectly. Like, I, I can't. So this is the color palette that I gave her. I gave her some burgundies and greens and burnt orange and light pinks. This is more the themes, um, colors that I gravitate towards fall. So she sent me six 20 gram minis on her 7525. And then she not only sent one, but she sent two skeins of the self striping. One of them using only the burnt red, um, the red, the pink, the orange. And she is going to be selling these two skeins in her shop. We just need to come up with some colorway names. Um, but this is stunning. And then she sent one with all of the colors, which might be my favorite. I mean, can you even? This is so insanely gorgeous. I can't even. Um, when you put them like next to the minis, I mean, look at this. Or like the red. I want to make sure this is popping up nicely because I just couldn't. So these two skeins were inspired um, by the color palette that I gave her. And she not only sent all of that, then she decided to send her one-of-a-kind sock blank double-stranded, which is 462 yards. So she sent a full sock blank. So if you're not aware, a sock blank is a, um, usually it's machine knit, and you just knit from, so you pull the yarn, and you knit from the tube itself, so it creates really fun, marl, marly looking socks. So much fun. So she sent one of these. She sent, oh yeah, this was a box. Um, she sent her Vanessa colorway, which is also on her 7525. 
really beautiful speckly yarn. Absolutely gorgeous. And then, and each of these have a fun stitch marker on them, okay? If those weren't enough, she sent so many stitch marker packs to me. And these are beautiful. All different size, all different colors. Oh, I love this neutral one. So thank you so much, um, Laura. I appreciate this tremendously. What I'm going to be doing is um, she sent so many stitch markers my way. So as I'm packaging up packages, I'm just going to sneak in some of these stitch markers for giveaway prizes, um, knit along prizes. So huge, huge thank you. That's it for everything for acquisitions, um, what I've been working on. I'm just super excited about everything that's going on um, through my Patreon group especially. We have so much going on. Uh, we had a Zoom call and or having a Zoom call. Um, we're going to be doing those more regularly. We're going to be having a garment knit along that's happening. We're going to have a Halloween knit along, a holiday one, um, or even... Um, might be doing a holiday swap. So it's just going to be so much fun. I just want to thank every single one of you for watching my podcast. I hope you really enjoy it. And if you do, make sure you like and subscribe. Um, we are almost at 3k. I think in another episode or two, we might get there. And y'all know what that means is a huge giveaway. So if you are ever a maker of any kind and want to donate to the podcast to a knit along, um, anything, definitely send me an email. I always link it down below. And I would absolutely love to share your makes on the podcast. Um, your doesn't have to be a big business. I get that question a lot on, oh, I don't have as many followers or my business isn't really huge. It does not matter. I just love sharing your makes. So whatever your business is, um, I just absolutely love to share it uh, on the podcast. So I am going to go and hang out with my girls. And I hope that you guys all have an incredible day wherever you are in the world. And as always, happy knitting. Until next time.